men feel like they can't talk about their mental health. Men feel silenced. Men don't talk because it's seen in your circle of friends possibly as being weak. It's not the manly thing to do. You get told to man up, you know, get over it, get over yourself. It's all right, have a drink, it'll be all right, everything will move on, you'll be okay tomorrow. And it's just not that easy. Lost my house, lost my job through illness and injury. Um, which sort of sent me a bit sideways. I became a, a good actor, is probably the best way to look at it. Um, I was very much still the life and soul and went out, but it was just really hard work. It was an act all the time. On the 26th of October 2008, uh, I got the unfortunate news that my partner had passed away. Um, she took her life, unfortunately, while she was uh, 38 weeks pregnant with my daughter. Uh, now that, as a historic event, I really struggled with. Um, I pushed people away. Uh, I had friends that I ended up uh, fighting over, and I just, I just really didn't want to be here anymore. Um, so I tried to take my life. I had a difficult childhood. Um, I, I didn't have positive relationships with my parents. My difficult adolescence, um, I spent some time in jail. Um, I didn't do well in relationships either. My last relationship um, was perhaps my most dysfunctional, uh, this perfect storm of negativity and, 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 and sadness and upset came to a head and uh, uh, I ended up in hospital. I didn't want to die, I know that, and I knew that when I was doing it, but the crisis was that bad and that deep that I didn't know what to do. To be fair, I was lost. I am a guy of, you know, I'm now mid-30s who grew up through sort of, you know, the, the 90s and all of the lad culture and all those sort of things and, you know, I hate this word personally, but banter and all those sort of different things, you, you don't want to show weakness. Andrew died on Tuesday, 5th of April 2016, which is just over three years ago now. Um, I just got a knock on the door about half past eight on the Tuesday morning by a policeman just saying that they'd found Andrew dead. Um, yeah. I just think it would just this last few days that summer had gone on in his head and it just spiralled and spiralled down. And if anyone ever says to me, well, at least he's at peace now, it's rubbish. Because I know he'll be up there now just kicking himself, going, what the hell did I do that for? He would be, he was so protective over his little girl. She were only nearly two when he died. Now we're getting over 2,000 men a month that comes to Andy's Man Clubs. We've got 20 groups and... It's 2,000 potential families that are not going to go through what we have.